Hello viewers, welcome to my channel Method City. Already in our previous class, we discussed what are quantum numbers and what is the importance of quantum numbers. In this session, we are going to discuss the shapes of atomic orbitals. The shapes of atomic orbitals. Let us discuss the first atomic orbital that is s orbital observe this animation children s orbital is spherical in shape electron cloud is oriented round the nucleus observe this animation round the nucleus round the nucleus this center point is the nucleus and this dots all these dots indicates the probability of finding the electron probability of finding the electron so this region around the nucleus where the probability of finding the electron is more is known as orbital so the first orbital s orbital is spherical in shape s orbital starts from k shell that is n is equal to 1 n is equal to 1 and when n is equal to 2 l shell that is 2s orbital and when n is equal to 3 that is 3 3s orbital all the s orbitals are spherical in shape now see this one s orbitals are spherical in shape they start from k shell k shell that is n is equal to 1 from 2s orbitals s orbitals have nodal planes nodal plane in the sense the probability of finding the electron is zero. 2s orbital has a nodal plane, which means there is the probability of finding the electron is zero. We cannot locate the exact position. We cannot locate the exact position of the electron cloud in 2s orbital. So 2s orbital have the nodal plane. Let us discuss the shape of p orbital. p orbital starts from L shell. There are three degenerating p orbitals are there. Observe this animation children. Here the electron cloud is oriented along x axis. Along x axis. So this orbital is px orbital. What is that? px orbital. Observe this one. This is px orbital this px orbital is dumbbell in shape all the three orbitals are dumbbell in shape observe this one so px py pz if the electron cloud orients along x axis then it is known as the px orbital next one if the electron cloud orients along y axis then it is known as py orbital okay here it is px orbital because the electron cloud is oriented on the x axis on the x axis are you clear about that one next come to the next one that is p y orbital if the electron cloud orients along y axis observe this one along y axis then it is p y orbital see this one <coughs> here observe this animation children here this is the nucleus observe this this is the nucleus the electron cloud is oriented on the y axis on the y axis so this is p y orbital this is p x orbital this is p y orbital next the same manner if the electron cloud orients along z axis along z axis observe this animation here see this one the electron cloud exactly oriented around the nucleus on the z axis the electron cloud orients on z axis this is pz orbital all the p orbitals are dumbbell in shape there are three degenerating p orbitals are there all the p orbitals px and py pz orbitals dumbbell in shape so p orbital starts from l shell that is n is equal to 2 n is equal to 2 means 2 p orbital when n is equal to 3 means 3p orbital when n is equal to 4 means 4p orbital if I arrange all the p orbitals together, how they appear? See this one.
say this. I am arranging the all the p orbitals, all the p orbitals together. This is p x orbital and this is p z orbital. Next, this is p y orbital. If you observe this animation clearly, see this the electron cloud oriented along x axis, the electron cloud oriented along y axis and the electron cloud oriented along z axis. So, there are three degenerating p orbitals are there. p orbitals start from L shell, p orbital is dumbbell in shape, p orbital is dumbbell in shape. Next, let us discuss the shape of the d orbital. There are five degenerating orbitals. D orbital starts from M shell. D orbital starts from M shell. Observe this animation, children. That is the first degenerating D orbital is DXY orbital. DXY. Observe this. DXY in the sense the electron cloud orients along XY plane, not on the axis. Observe this one. This is plane. This is plane. Okay. In the XY plane, electron cloud is oriented. So, this is the dxy orbital. So, if the electron cloud orients in xy plane, then it is dxy orbital. So, d orbitals are double dumbbell in shape. Observe this one. What is the shape of this one? Double dumbbell. So, there are five degenerating d orbitals are there. They start from m shell. n is equal to 3. If n is equal to 4 means 40. If n is equal to 5 means 5d. So, all the d orbitals are double dumbbell in shape. This is the nucleus. Observe this one. This is the nucleus. The electron cloud is oriented in xy plane. The electron cloud is oriented in xy plane. Observe this animation, children. The electron cloud oriented in x and y plane in x and y plane. Okay. Are you clear about that one? What is dxy? dxy in the sense the electron cloud exactly orients on x and y plane in x and y plane. So, it is dxy orbital. Altogether, there are five degenerating d orbitals are there. Five degenerating d orbitals are there. Other this. This is the nucleus. This is the nucleus. This is all electron cloud, dense electron cloud, which is oriented in xy plane, in xy plane. This is plane, observe this, this is plane, but this is white line is, what is that, axis, x axis, this is y axis, okay. The electron cloud is not oriented on xy axis, it is oriented exactly in xy plane, not on the axis, so this is a dxy orbital. Next, observe this children. See this one. This is XZ. This is X axis. This is Z axis. The electron cloud oriented in XZ plane. In XZ plane. So, this is DXZ orbital. DXZ orbital. Observe this carefully. If the electron cloud orients in XZ plane, then it is DXZ orbital. Next, come to the next orbital. Observe this one. See this one. The electron cloud, observe this one. This is the y axis and this is the z axis. If the electron cloud orients in y z plane, this is y z plane. Observe this one. Y z plane. This is y z plane. So, if the electron cloud orients in y z plane, this is known as d y z orbital. d y z orbital. Now, observe this animation, children. This is x axis and this is y axis. The knobs oriented, that is electron clouds oriented exactly on x y axis, not in planes, on x y axis. So, if the electron cloud orients on x and y axis, then it is d x square minus y square orbital. d x square minus y square orbital. So, x square minus y square in the sense the electron cloud is exactly oriented along x axis and y axis. x axis and y axis three dimensionally. Three dimensionally. Now observe this children. 
the last one the fifth one is degenerating orbital d orbital that is dz square orbital this is z axis i have not seen shown x and y axis this is the z axis here the electron cloud is orienting exactly on z axis exactly on z axis three dimensionally the electron cloud is orienting three dimensionally on z axis so this is dz square orbital dz square orbital so this is all about the shapes of different different atomic orbitals s orbitals p orbitals and d orbitals let us summarize what we learnt in this class Thank you.